In SOLIDWORKS 2012, the toolbox has been re-architectured, removing the reliance on the Access database. No longer does SOLIDWORKS need to load or read from a huge database that contains all of the standard, size and property information for each toolbox item. This means that toolbox items work much faster and are more portable than in previous releases. All data for sizes, standards and properties are contained within each file. Starting up and browsing Toolbox is also much faster. In fact, you should expect to be able to configure a new part in less than a second. And if the configuration is already available, this should be almost instant. As you can see in this example, fixing the plate onto the framework with hex head bolts and star one hex nuts takes no time at all. And we are never left waiting for the computer to catch up. The removal of the database dependency also means that the toolbox folder structure can be modified to help organize and access your toolbox. Taking a look at the toolbox settings application, you will see some great new enhancements and tools to help administer your standard library of parts. Here I want to group together washers and o-rings. Creating a new folder and giving it a name is all that's needed. SOLIDWORKS 2012 gives you the control to organize your files in a way that suits you and your company. To move the components and manipulate the toolbox structure, you can simply cut and paste any folder and group together similar types. Right clicking on a folder also allows you to add your own files to the toolbox. Another great enhancement for administering your files is the ability to rename any toolbox item, again helping you to conform to your own company standards. If you add properties to toolbox items, these properties will always reside with the files, if they are ever moved or if the files are shared. The SOLIDWORKS Whole Wizard database has been separated out into its own category within the Toolbox Settings application. You can now pick which sizes and standards you wish to be available, along with which smart fastener you want to populate for each hole type. A more granular selection of smart fasteners also allows you to automate the addition of fasteners for your holes that match your own company standards without any compromise. Here you can change the default smart fastener to a hex head bolt instead of a socket head cap screw. Another enhancement to the hole wizard is a small change to the workflow. A common method and one that I use is to select a face that you want to apply the hole to first. Previously your selection would have placed a point at that location Generally, you would then have to remove this point and then place your desired point in the place you want it. This step has now been removed, allowing you to precisely place and relate your holes to existing geometry and get it right first time.